Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play Banjo Dreamy. We are still in Memory Meadow, and in the last episode, we had just gotten the Highlight Height section of the level finished, and we are still continuing on, but now we are going into the areas of the level that we previously had visited as B Banjo, but this time we are regular Banjo. And is there any way for me to get back up from down here? Can I grab hold of that? Okay. And uh, by the way, I'm actually not wearing my headphones right now, so I can't hear the game's audio, but you guys can still hear it because it's still recording the audio. It's just that I have my headphones plugged into my speaker, but I'm not wearing my headphones, so I can't hear the audio. I'm not wearing them because I'm recording this episode immediately after recording the previous episode because, well... I need to uh, get all of this uh, level recorded, regardless of how many episodes it takes me. So this, of course, means that... Uh, well, this, of course, means that if I have received any comments on the previous uh, episodes, I have not seen them as of the recording of this one, because uh, I have not uploaded... Uh, parts 8 and parts 9 yet. I mean, they should already be out for you guys. I'm just saying that this episode's recording is before that has happened. Because I just needed to record multiple episodes of the same level at one time. Oh! Ooh! That, that was so close. Yeah, when we were here before, I, I was trying to go over to this light area, but but B Banjo was not allowed to go there. Although Mumbo did give me a warning prior. Oh, and you know what? I think that I had mentioned when we were at a lunar landing that I could have sworn that they had changed that area, but nope, it was actually uh, this area that I was thinking of. You know, where we can see the tails of the Gorilla Chompas before we even attack them. Yeah, like, like you. That's just quite extraordinary. Yeah, like there's another one. You you could you could see the end of his tail. That's something that you don't you don't see in the original Banjo Kazooie. So that is just certainly extraordinary how there's that. Okay, and I've used up so many of the red feathers from the last episode. So I need to stock up on those. <sighs> okay, is this, is this everything for... Okay, well, spring shock pad has to be used for something. I'm pretty sure that I spawned back at the entrance. Okay, so I think that that is that section of the level done. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Wow, I was certain that you were going to hit me, even though I was telling you not to. Alright, so now we head to Twinkling Tunnels. And it's good that it did not take me the, uh, take me very long to get the, uh, the glowing garden section finished. Okay, more feathers. I have plenty of eggs, but not enough feathers. Mm. 
Man, I really wish that I had the ability to fire eggs, but I don't think that I am going to learn that until the next episode. Or the next level, really. It probably is going to be the next episode, yes, but episode was not what I meant to say. What I meant to say was level. I think I need to get on top of that gold in order to get up to here. Oh, I was expecting that to be a musical note, not an extra life. Ah, plenty of red feathers. These will come in handy for the next time I will need them. Save state, because... Okay, well... I knew that I would probably not make it up there. I... Wait. No, nope, there's only eggs, so there's no point in going up there, because... I can't even hold them anyway, so... I really should not have even bothered. Oh my goodness! Ooh, ooh! Okay, good. I wonder if there's also one on that other platform. There is! Man, and I don't even have the ability to use the Wonder Wings yet. Don't fall! Wow, I was certain that you were going to fall, even though I was telling you not to. Ooh. Okay. As long as you land right there. It's fine. Ugh. Ooh. Plenty of stuff. Plenty of good stuff up here. Got the musical note. Found another Momo token. Yeah, it's it's all good. It is all good. Alright. Um, is there anything to be found in the water right here? Stupid camera. You know... I think that uh, last night, well, for me, but it'll probably be like a couple of days, maybe a couple weeks for you guys, is that I had seen Attacking Toucans upload something on this Y2Cans channel, which is basically his uh, live stream of playing Donkey Kong 64 for the first time, and I certainly cannot believe that it has uh, taken him this long to play Donkey Kong 64. I mean, Donkey Kong 64 was not a game that I played when I was a kid. I was a teenager when I had gotten my copy of the game. I actually played Conker's Bad Fur Day before I played Donkey Kong 64, so that's kind of quite extraordinary how I played a mature rated game before playing a E rated game, but you know. You know, when you are an adult, you do sometimes, you know, you do come across uh, television shows and games that are directed towards adults, but then you also come across some family-friendly uh, content, you know, like stuff that you did not see when you are a kid, but you could have seen. You know, I mean, I could have played Donkey Kong 64 when I was a kid, I just didn't have my own copy of the game yet. Part of me kind of wishes that I did play Donkey Kong 64 when I was a kid, rather than waiting until I was a teenager to play that game. Because it really looks like I would have loved playing that game as a kid. Though, the good question here that I have, not really a comic question of the day, but a good question here is, if there is a game from your childhood that you did not play, and then you find out about it when you're an adult, is it worth it to get that game, even though you didn't play it as a kid? No, it's kind of like uh, with... Uh, Super Smash Bros. or Mario Kart 64 uh, for the Nintendo 64. I 
currently do not have copies of those games. Would it be worth it to get uh, those games and play them for my Nintendo 64, even though I didn't play them when I was a kid? Is there any point in doing that? Does anyone recommend against doing that? Or do you think I should actually get those games and give them a try? Yeah, I think maybe I had uh, played uh, Mario Kart 64 at a friend's house when I was a uh, very little kid, you know, long before Mario Kart Wii, although I haven't played Mario Kart Wii for a few years. Though I have also not played uh, Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS in a while. Okay, so I need to swim through these uh, whiplashes. Sure hope I don't drown before I get through here. Probably should have made a save state before I uh, swam in here. Okay, I'm almost there. Okay, thank goodness I made it. Yeah, it certainly would have been smart of me to make a save state before going down there, but at least I made it. Alright, so that is that section of the level done. Now let's go to the beach. You know, what is kind of funny is that all throughout the time that I've been recording this episode, as well as the last two episodes, uh, it is like, it's the day after Independence Day that I am recording this episode and... The, ep the two episodes that came before it, and I've been in my air-conditioned room. I'm not feeling hot right now, though I am feeling a bit chilly. Sometimes I do feel chilly uh, in the morning when I wake up because I've had my air conditioning on. And sometimes I can feel too cold when I have my air conditioning on. So I may want to uh, turn it off uh, in the morning, at least until it, it becomes so warm that I do need my air conditioning. Alright, so now we are going to go into this hole here, which I obviously could not get to when I was here before as a bee. Because bees cannot go underwater. In fact, they can't even go into the water. Because if a bee touches the water, they just automatically fly out. Well, I don't know if that's the case for bees in real life, but in Banjo-Kazooie, it is definitely the case. Oh, I remember this spot. Oh, and here's more eggs that I cannot pick up until I learn... Oh, well, yeah. I can't pick them up, but I also cannot fire them because I have not learned the ability yet. Although, do you learn how to fire eggs in this level or the next one? I don't remember. Oh, the lava's going up and down. So, I want to avoid that. Certainly gonna be a lot of save stating in this area. You know, I'm kind of thinking that this is, this might have been inspired a bit by stuff you'd see in uh, Disney World. I'm not sure if Lago had taken uh, influence from Disney World in creating some of these areas, but, you know, this kind of looks like something you would see in a Disney ride or something. That, that's just what I'm feeling. I think that I, uh, I think that Banjo-Kazooie itself did take a lot of elements from Disney. Click Clock Woods certainly had a sort of Disney feel to it. Hurry, hurry. 
no, I, I am remembering that when I was watching my cousin play this game for the first time, and she had gotten as far as Click Clock Wood. Yeah, I think there there was a point at which I, or which I at least thought that I had seen the legs of Piglet, you know, from Winnie the Pooh. But I think that it was actually the legs of one of the Grublin Hoods. It certainly is extraordinary how there were the Grublin Hoods that acted very much like the Grublins in Mumbo's Mountain. But it is quite odd how there were some enemies that happened to act very much the same as uh, enemies from the first level of the game. Is there... I thought that there was a way to enter that uh, building right there. Maybe it's still possible. I'll need to take a look around. Okay, uh... Just want to make sure that I don't fall. Alright, is there... The, uh... Any place where I can possibly enter... How, can, can you break those windows open? I'm not sure if you can. Not sure if you can, but... I'm gonna give it a try though, but I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try it out with one of these windows. Oh my! Uh. Oh dear, did I save state? Well, I save stated up here, but now I have to collect this musical note again. Can you get on top of this umbrella? if you can actually it doesn't look like you can oh oh there's an entrance right here I was right you could enter this uh, building This certainly has a sort of uh, Disney feel to it. Although I think that th this actually kind of reminds me a, a bit of the uh, the Russian Treasure Island uh, uh, movie. You know, the one with the Livesey Walk. Yeah, that that is what this area actually reminds me of. <laughs> Yeah. Of course, that's not a Disney movie, but we did get a, a Disney adaptation of Treasure Island. Well, technically, too. There was Muppet Treasure Island, which Disney did make. I'm pretty sure that this was um, a Muppet movie that was made after Disney bought the rights to uh, the Muppets. And then there is Treasure Planet. sure if you could uh, get up here because I did not see a platform. I thought that they were just floating objects in the air. Well, that's about it. I've also noticed that the windows in here look red even though they looked yellow from outside. I guess it makes sense because outside is just a bunch of lava. Okay, so I think that that probably will wrap things up for this area of the level. So I guess now I will uh, change back into a B, and then we will go into the last section. And how many musical notes? 18. So there's seven more that we need to get in this level. But I'm not sure if we have gotten every, every one outside of the lunar landing section. Hopefully it's not another case of me having to uh, back travel to different areas. But 
you know, if that does end up happening, I will do a little, uh, I will actually check a YouTube video to try to locate all of the musical notes that I did not get. So I'm going to speed the footage up and uh, I will uh, cut to when I get to the lunar landing section of this uh, level. Now, here we are at the lunar landing section. I'm checking behind here to see if there's anything uh, worth getting. And now, and now for the struggle of me having to enter this part. Okay, well, there we go. Be in space. I'd say bees in space, but there's only one. Okay, well, this sun does not burn you, but don't try going near the actual sun, because that will burn you. So, there should be seven more musical notes in this area, because... Well... I have 18 out of the 25 musical notes. Well, 19 now. So that means that the last six notes should be in this area too. I think there is an opening in one of these planets that has a musical note. Oh, there's another musical note. Let me see if I can get to it. You know, I am just remembering, uh, you know, like, since space is, like, there's no ground in space. If you were, uh, if you went out in space, you know, like, like you didn't land on anything, then you would just be falling for infinity, but... Someone told me you'd actually be floating for infinity. And you know what? That actually makes sense because, well, there's no gravity in space. So there'd be no up or down because that's basically what space is. When you are out in space, there is no up or down. Right. 21 musical notes. Four more to go. And hopefully I find them all sure there was an opening on one of these planets. Oh, another empty honey piece. I definitely want that. Oh boy! If we find one more, we'll have another unit of health. Sure there's some musical notes around those uh, rocks. Those floating rocks. Okay, there's Megs. There's some feathers, I'll grab those. So we'll probably need them for the next time we need to use a fly pad. Oh, there's another musical note. Okay, so we've got three more. Three more to find. Hopefully I can find them. Oh, there's that hole I was looking for. Well, there, that is 23 notes, but there's another two that we need to find. I did not forget any anywhere, did I? So, after watching through the uh, video, I figured out that there is a musical note in this area that I had missed before, so I'm going to buzz around here to see if I can find it. As long as the camera cooperates. 
I think it is on a leaf that you can't get to when you are in normal bear form. Oh, there it is. Now I just gotta land and grab it. Uh, this this could take a while. Uh, come on, please. Just let me have it. Just let me have it. Alright. Yes, got it. Oh. And also, it turns out that if you do try to go into this area, Mumbo does give you a warning. Well, he did. Because... That was what I saw in the video. I think I just walked around the part where he would give the warning. But thankfully, we don't need to go into the highlight height section of the level. Because the, the last musical note is not in that section. It's actually in uh, the Twinkling Tunnel section. I think that it's in one of these uh, little tunnel little alcoves that's under the water. I think right there. Yep, there it is. So, at last, we have found all 25 musical notes of Memory Meadow, and, and at long last, we have completed Memory Meadow. Okay, so, you did see that the, the entrance of Memory Meadow requires us to have the B transformation in order to enter and also to exit as Banjo and Kazooie in normal bear and bird form are too big to fit through the exit. So we need to use the B transformation in order to leap. But, I don't need to do that because this is where this episode is going to come to an end. And this is also uh, where I'm going to save and quit the game for the time being. So, in episode 11, we will go to the next area of the game. I'm not sure how many levels or how many episodes we need to record, but... You know, this level took three episodes. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.